Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Tony. Today we're going to make some garlic chicken skillet. This was another post I saw on Facebook that someone shared and it looked absolutely delicious. So I decided we need to try it and see how it turns out so I can share it with you and give you my recommendations. This was a recipe you could find on 12 tomatoes. So why don't we go ahead and get in the kitchen and see how this one comes out. Okay folks, now with my chicken, even though I got skinless chicken breast I bought from the store, I still like to work on it. So I like to trim all that up and make it look a lot better. Get rid of this here and rewash it. Okay, first I'm going to cut the end of the garlic. And I'm going to take a, a sheet of foil, take my garlic pieces, cut end up. I like garlic so I'm going to use three. Then you want to drizzle it with a little olive oil, Himalayan sea salt, sprinkle some of that on there, coarse ground black pepper, Sprinkle some of that on there. And you're going to want to fold this up real tight. Roast it 30 minutes at 400 degrees. Just like so. So it's a nice little tight little foil ball. And I'm going to use my convection oven. Set it in here. I've already preheated it. And I like my toaster convection oven because I can set the time on it. Okay, the timer just went off, so it's been 30 minutes. I can sure smell it. Next, I'm going to open my package. You can see it's nice and roasted. And while it's still hot, I'm going to take a fork and mash it. That way it'll be ready when I'm ready for it. Already mashed and ready to go. Just like so. I'm going to uh, take two cups of buttermilk and let that soak in it for about a half hour. While the chicken is soaking in the buttermilk, I'm going to take two cups of flour. Yes, I like to keep my flour in the freezer until I need it. One teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and we want to whisk this all together. All right. The next part of the recipe calls for two tablespoons of minced parsley. So I wash my parsley. <coughs> I think I got two tablespoons there. For this dipping batch, I did two cups of panko breadcrumbs, my three fourths of a cup of Parmesan cheese, and my parsley, minced parsley. I'm combining this together. Okay, I got my assembly line set up for my chicken skillet. I'm going to use the wok. I'm just waiting for the oil to heat up and then we'll be ready to rock and roll. My oil feels like it's hot enough. I'm going to take my chicken that's been soaking in buttermilk, dip it in the flour, get it all nice and coated. And I'm going to uh, dip it in my egg wash. Panko crumbs. Right 
Okay, we want this to cook about four minutes on each side. Then I'll flip them. And we're going to put them on paper towels to dry them and store about four minutes. Look at how nice and golden brown that is. Yummy. Okay, there's my first two. I'm going to go ahead and cook these up, and we'll be back when I'm done with this part. Okay, my recipe called for six large breasts or thighs to use, and as you can see, I've got way overkill on the chicken here and stuff. This here is with the panko crumbs, and I have to say they work a lot better than the ones with the Italian breadcrumbs because I did some with Italian breadcrumbs. As you can see, the breading seems to want to come off of it. I don't know if you can see that. Right there, you see how the breading wants to come off and that of the Italian breadcrumbs. So I would recommend the panko breadcrumbs. They just look beautiful and it turned out really nice. A nice golden brown and just beautiful to work with. Okay, I'm getting ready to do my sauce here. I'm melting three tablespoons of butter with the leftover oil that I had from cooking. I'm taking my mashed garlic and mashing it up. Seems to be doing real nice. Now I'm going to add my three tablespoons of flour. Stir continuously. Okay, it's slowly starting to change color. So about another minute. Okay, you see how it's lightly brown? Now I'm going to add my one cup of chicken stock. thickening up nicely. Those bits and pieces you see is actually the mashed garlic. Alright, next I'm going to add in my heavy whipping cream. Put that in. Add my Parmesan cheese. Work that in as well as my uh, Parsley. Look at how beautiful that looks. I'm going to turn my heat down to low. Add a little salt and pepper to taste. I'm using the Himalayan salt. Stir this all up. for about five ten minutes okay it's halfway cooking so I'm gonna flip it over next okay it's been about ten minutes so I'm gonna take this off the heat off the fire and start panning it up that smells so good I get the big piece. Uh, part. My wife would like a small piece. Right here. A little more sauce on top. Like so. Alright. Now I'll meet you at the table for a taste test. All right, folks, it's time for that wonderful taste test. My mouth is just salivating looking at this and just the smells and everything. It just 
the anticipation's killing me. But before I start, I'd like to thank uh, Theresea Schroeders from the land down under on her kind words for my creamy garlic Brussels sprouts. Thank you again, and thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I can't wait. I just love anything with sauces. They enhance it, and make it so much better, I think. Mm. One more bite. This is a very good dish. I think you would like it if you make it. If you do, please leave a message in the comment section about how you felt about it and everything. Margaret, did you enjoy this? It's absolutely amazing. It's absolutely amazing to my wife. It's so tender I don't need my knife. That, that's nothing like that for a compliment to the cook. Anyways, again I'd like to thank you for watching another episode of Cooking with Tony. Remember if you like it, give me a thumbs up in the down below and leave a comment and thank you again you all have a wonderful blessed day